I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper here. We got you doing fantastic today. Got a fun video talking about clan battle season coming back. And the first game is with a Kabaroffs on the map north, and it's seven versus seven. And uh, we'll put up the screen of what the restrictions are in a bit. But before we begin, if you guys want to support the channel, like what we're doing here, talking about tips, tactics, and techniques about World of Warships, like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support as always. The next four thousand subs, we're gonna do another premium giveaway. We had a blast doing that, and we can't thank you guys enough for making this a, a great place to build good community, having great uh, conversations, making good friends, and having fun at the same time. So again, let's get to it right now. And this is a new format for me. I forgot to take a snapshot photo of this, so I just took this from the replay. This is the map north from the uh, friendly side, uh, and then the north side is from the south end attacking to the north. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie caps are right there, so if you can envision uh, what those actually look like, uh, it's just a, basically a circle right there, and of course there's a circle right here and a circle right there. So just kind of envision what that looks like in your mind, but those are the cap points for this map north. Again, the, um, the loadout right now and the restrictions I'll put up on the screen, it's seven versus seven, we're allowing two battleships a maximum, and of course as many cruisers and uh, uh, destroyers as you want, and and of course, they also have a lot of restrictions in there with, for example, you can't have more than a one certain type of ship. You can't have, uh, if you have a, a, a Kleber or a Marceau, you can't have more than one of those and so forth. They have banned a few ships up there. You can see Napoli being the one of the biggest. So Napoli was, I believe, very, very powerful clan battles, almost borderline OP and broken, but especially if you get like four or five of them going. And uh, that's kind of the restrictions right now, and this is what we got to work with. So we're playing in the Kabarovs here, and the Kabarovs is my first game with it. Uh, very powerful. Uh, I think it's... I wanted to try it out to see if it actually works in clan battles. Uh, it had, One of the downsides it's got going for him is its concealment is terrible. It's like 7 point... Uh, I think it was 7.8 or 6 or something like that. It's got it's essentially a Kleber style gameplay, but it's a little slower than Kleber. The guns are a little bit better in my personal opinion, but of course Kleber has a better, a better saturation damage on its armor. Uh, but the Kabarovs has its great acceleration juking abilities and it's got the heals. So again, it's kind of kind of like that Kleber play style, long range gunboating, running around with your head cut off really fast and uh, kind of does that kind of gameplay, but terrible concealment and gets spotted from the moon. So that could be poor uh, maybe in this coming battle uh, where the battleships and cruisers can focus you down, especially if your radar or spotted from a, a better uh, destroyer player that has better concealment. So let's take a look at the initial push right here. So we're going to do a kind of a slow roll push to Bravo where uh, me and the Kabrovs, wrong color there. Me and the Kabrovs is going to go in and cap Bravo and then kind of just go out and flank and spot uh, meanwhile, a commissar is going to post up right here, giving uh, kind of, a, again, I don't like the gimmick of the whole airplane thing, a hybrid uh, kind of ships in, in clan battles. I don't, I don't like airplanes in, in clan battles because it doesn't give you that element of surprise. So the whole idea is using your skills to position strategy and to surprise the enemy rather than being spotted from the moon. You already know the jig is up. So what's the point? You know, now we're just rushing ships right into each other and just hope for the best. And that's kind of roll the dice. Wisconsin down here, the battleship is going to kind of slow roll at Bravo, being able to support Charlie and giving focus, uh, being able to focus fire into Alpha and Charlie, giving that very good uh, connection right there. Meanwhile, we have the small one, which is going to go in and hopefully cap uh, Charlie. We have the Moscow cruiser right there, providing radar coverage for the entire area of Charlie. Commissar is going to push out and maybe go around uh, I'm not really sure if the commissary is going to go in or out or just kind of, just kind of loiter in this general direction, providing air cover and uh, being basically guns to shoot into Charlie. Meanwhile, the battleship Vincent will go ahead and push into Charlie and provide that battleship support. So that's kind of the initial setup right here, what we look like. What the enemy actually intended on doing was they actually push their cruisers. Uh, normally at this island right here, I've seen battleship comes into support. They may have a destroyer go in and out in uh, of... Um, uh, Charlie, I'm not really sure exactly what they're planning on doing, but we're going to assume their destroyer wants to take Charlie Cap. And of course, they usually have like a cruiser here post up providing radar coverage. Meanwhile, the Alpha, the enemy team actually pushed down the kind of similar to this style gameplay right here. Or maybe they had an extra cruiser in the back, I believe, in support somewhere in this center point right here. And then they have normally this is what I normally see is the the three ships coming on to Alpha, and then they're just going to support it like that. Maybe they push, maybe they hold. We elected to hold and see what the enemy actually does because rushing to your death is just rushing to your death. Uh, so what we saw was what actually happened was 
uh, the enemy actually pushed this composition right here. And once that happens, we were easily able to reposition and reclaim this. And uh, we were able to provide focus fire into this center point right here. Once these ships were eliminated, we could actually push into Alpha. And of course, we can come back around to support Charlie if it's overwhelmed. So the idea was really just to hold Bravo. And if, if the enemy does overwhelm Charlie, we can always push back and support Charlie. Meanwhile, if uh, we need to go cap Alpha and do a heavy push, we can uh, eventually do a delayed push once we destroy at least one of the ships and see where it goes from there so let's take a look at the replay and see actually how this turns out and uh, how it goes so again here's the replay for the uh, mission on north with uh, seven versus seven new clan battle season i am currently in the kabarovsk and i just did a video on kabarovsk how powerful it is and we're trying it for our first time in clan battles because i i normally don't see many kabarovsks in the game as i told you guys earlier uh but uh, we're trying it out and seeing how this actually plays out. And um, while we're setting up position, as we talked about in the, the previous section of, you know, how we're setting up here, well, we have a very powerful uh, uh, anyway, the, um, uh, build, if you will, where we have Smolens, Kabarovs. I think is a very powerful setup. Uh, Smolen having that radar kind of overpower kind of gunboat style build. While we have a Kabarovs, which is kind of that annoying zombie, you know, farming kind of uh, battleship kind of thing, which is uh, a devastating thing to have on the battlefield as well. As you see, we have the markers uh, setting up right there. We're put it, positioning the radar cruisers as we talked about at Charlie. And then, of course, we have another radar destroyer at small, uh, the, with Smolen at Charlie as well, which should be very, very devastating. And we'll pause the video here and there and take a look at uh, I'm trying out this new kind of format where we're actually pausing the video, zooming in and uh, looking at, hey, what, what could have been done better and uh, how we're going to play around with this. And I'm trying out the camera um, controls here and trying out some new stuff so we can uh, kind of analyze and take a little bit more deep dive of how this actually plays out. Commissar is the new... Uh, Soviet cruiser that people seem to be using, which I think is kind of wrong because they got the hybrid aircraft carriers kind of style because you get planes with the Commissar. And I digress. I, I, you guys know what, how I feel about that. And you guys, a lot of you guys out there say the same thing where CVs, the reason why CVs are banned in clan battles is because it just removes all of the being conspicuous or being stealth because... Uh, planes just spot everything from the face of the moon so uh, we'll take a look at that uh, later on but the commissaire again yeah it just goes unlimited spotting because you're just flying around looking for guys and uh, I think that's unfair all right going out right here now uh, we're gonna go ahead and focus on the Puerto Rico and why I just decided to open up because you know first of all I already told you guys Kabarov's is concealment is very very terrible it does you're spotted from the moon basically and uh, just very very not conducive for stealth gameplay and it's really just the open water gunboat as soon as you get spotted boom you're open firing uh, it's not a, that stealth torpedo boat either because the torpedoes only go out to six and but the guns are super super powerful I like it the accuracy is awesome we already talked about the armor plating on the Kabarov's Kabarov's is very very powerful in that sense because it's very difficult to kill Stalingrad goes down already from the Moscow side so one radar cruiser down at Charlie and uh, I just fired those preemptive torps for no re just to make sure nobody runs in or somebody runs into them. So now we're in full reverse. Great acceleration on the cab drops there. And look, even if we get take a lot of damage, that 6,000 damage taken off from us, guess what? We have a heal to come back and we are a zombie coming back to life from the dead. And there are the torpedoes from whatever destroyers out in front of us. Yo Yang is spotted on the eastern side, of, uh, Charlie. So we know that the Shemakaze, is, again, knowing your lineup is very, very important in being successful as a destroyer player in Clan Bowser right now. So again, always know what your lineup is, what you're going up against, so you can prepare yourself for any kind of uh, resistance that you do face in meet. We have the Commissar posting up as we planned at Bravo with Wisconsin supporting in tow. And then, of course, we have, ooh, we took a major hit right there. 2,000 damage. Don't worry. We have the heals. If we need it, come back. Cabros, a great acceleration, great speed. I really do enjoy that. The only downside, of course, I told you, is the concealment, 7.9. Shemikaze goes spotted for some reason. Oh, because of the airplane. So that, again, that, I mean, good for us, but, you know, bad for the game itself. I don't I don't believe that the airplane is required in clan battles, and it should not be there because now the Shemikaze is spotted for free spotting you know when using his stealth was the whole idea of a shimakaze player uh again you could argue that if the commissar had radar then he would have been spotted anyways again airplanes are just there they're always going to be spotting they're up over you they ain't just loiter forever indefinitely until they get shot down and there's really no defense against it for the shimakaze because the aa on shimakaze is terrible so again that's that's my gripe on the, the uh the meta of today let me know what you guys think of should you know obviously a lot of people don't like carriers in clan battles that's why they ban them uh but do you think hybrid airplanes are allowed in uh, clan battles that's that's my thought on that or uh let me know your thoughts 
Uh, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and go in circle. Uh, the GK come back because I know GK is going to... Let's speed it up here. GK is coming and throwing down towards Bravo. And we're going to support our player uh, calling for focus fire on GK. Now, anytime you get a, a battleship, go ahead and focus fire with all your, your teammates. Now, we also get the Shimikaze spotted as well. So let's get focus fire on Shimikaze player. Now, again, look at these guns. I really do enjoy the Kabaroffs. You know, you get four sets of guns, which is great. Double barrel, they do so much damage. 2300 there when you get all of them connecting right there. And the accuracy in the trail, the arcs are amazing. Even at these ranges, they're super fast coming out of the barrel. And they're very, very easy and a pleasure to fire and aim at. I really do enjoy that. And let's see if we can get this nice hit right there. And boom, there it is. Flash one. We get our destroyer kill. And as a good a destroyer player, that's what we want to do. We want to kill the other destroyer. Now, here is also the bread and butter what the Kabarovs does. It is very, very good at shooting the uh, superstructures of battleships from close distance and range. You can see we're getting, we're connecting really, really great, and we do hit a lot. Now, we also have the torpedo marker coming up, which means that we do have torpedoes coming. We have to also damage con our steering, because steering on the Cabras is awful. You have to literally have it in order to do anything, and that is uh, why I had to damage con that, because if I didn't, I probably would hit one of those torpedoes, because this thing turns like a tank. And let's take a look. Do we get this kill on the GK? And boom, there it is. Splash 2. 68,000 damage right there. Taking out the GK with our uh, literally, literally terrible torps. And I mean, <laughs> they are crappy as sin. So uh, let's talk about, let's actually move around here. Um, let's take a look at, uh, oops, wrong button. Oh, we're going underwater for a second there. Let's take a look at what is going on over at Charlie. So pretty much we've got Bravo Cap Secure. Let's go take a look at Charlie and how that's going and right now they have the puerto rico pushing in saint vincent solved, sir. and i don't know why it's going so slow panning it seems slower these days in the the uh different views so we got puerto rico being focused down on and we got the prussian coming down the middle there okay so again they're doing a push at charlie which is uh, you know re respectable because they thought the alpha team could uh, you know secure alpha and hold it meanwhile we're at bravo and we're uh trying to hopefully run back to charlie because it seems like they're overwhelming charlie with is a three on two with the goliath at back at a saint vincent is taking a beating but we're all he's also getting flanked by uh the prussian so good on them for trying to flank the uh, St. Vincent with the Prussian going on in the middle. Smallin is in the in the in the uh, behind the island here in support. There, Yu Yang has capped uh, Charlie, so he's not much of a threat. He's running away. Not sure if he's throwing out those torpedoes or not. Let's take a look at what the the plan of attack is for this flanking of our Vincent. And it looks like Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has got a nose in, very good angling, but we also have the Prussian just getting full broadside, and he's got secondaries on the St. Vincent. St. Vincent and is taken out with the Prussian secondaries, but looks like we have Puerto Rico is being shot down by Smallin right there, and yep, didn't take an out. And now we're also focusing on the Prussian, so let's take a look at Prussian. Yep, we are firing at Prussian here. So let's see our Prussian. Yep. Prussian is moving in. Of course, this is the this is why I like the Kabrov so much because really you can just put so much damage and firepower down range, and it's very difficult to kill a Kabaros if you don't have focus fire or super accurate guns. Notice that the Prussian only has those eight guns with only two turrets facing us in the front. So four shells, and all we gotta do is juke these shells. Again, I got the speed boost up, and just watch how I'm basically is going back and forth, back and forth, and it mitigates a lot of that damage rather than connecting the full connections of all those guns. And a lot of the guns, I, I believe the gimmick is anything below a certain amount of caliber, like 280 millimeters and above, just really overpan the Kabaroffs, and then they don't get that full um, AP uh, fusing. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know guys on the comments because I do remember reading that somewhere. Uh, 280 millimeters below, the uh, fuses do arm very well in the AP, so uh, Kabrovsk is very, very susceptible to the AP damage from lower calibers. So he goes down there, Wisconsin takes a nice shot right into the Prussian, and he goes down. And look at that, we've got Alpha, we've got Bravo, and at this point, it's just Goliath and Yu Yang at this point. So that was our basic setup right there, and um, you're just trying to see... Uh, we'll just speed it up here and see how that actually plays out. Again, at this point, it's just Goliath versus Commissaire. Commissaire is going to get melted by the Goliath. Yep, he goes down. And at this point, it's really just shooting the uh, Yo Yang. And Yo Yang is pretty much outgunned by the Smallin, radared by him as well. And we are just literally just supporting. Uh, again, very comfortable shooting the guns at long range. I really do enjoy it. Uh, Yo Yang's doing a little shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. 
And we are going to just go ahead and melt it. So, yeah, overwhelming Charlie Cap taking out the first game in the and Goliath is taking out Wisconsin and they're pretty much Alpha Bravo are secure and now we're just basically killing out Yo Yang and he goes down. That is the victory right there. So that was pretty much a clear and cut battle right there. Just holding Bravo, waiting for the enemy to just kind of push and, uh, and die, then pushing up through Bravo Alpha and of course we uh, just help out our team again repositioning to know where they're at at Charlie. So that's kind of the basic uh, onslaught and also the simple gameplay of Cabros. I really do enjoy Cabros. I mean we literally had four or five wins straight in a row with the Cabros. I do think it's one of the most powerful uh, destroyers these days, especially with these restrictions uh, going on uh, in uh, current clan battle season. But as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What you think of the current clan battle season? Uh, tactics, tips, and tactics. If you got something new, and Cabras, as always, build will be at the end of the screen. Hope you guys are doing well, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.